The brain can start to eat itself during its a grueling effort. Scientists studying brain metabolism have found that during long, exhausting exercise, the brain can begin to eat its own a small island, treating it as fuel. Fortunately, these changes are reversible. Myelin casing also called myelin is a complex tissue fat that protects the axons of nerves in the brains of vertebrates. It allows for a quick conduction of electrical pulses without having to increase the diameter axons, which means that the nerves can be densely packed close together. He shows it is that this greasy substance that isolates the electrical signals transmitted through nerve cells, it can also be a source of energy for the brain especially when the energy reserves are exhausted. Spanish scientists studying marathon runners have noticed that during the run, they reduce myelin in the brain. The results indicate a completely new form of neuroplasticity that can help sustain the functioning of the human brain during prolonged periods exhaustive physical effort. These discoveries can affect the better understanding of brain metabolism. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature Metabolism. Scientists have invited 10 people to run its long distance. Among them were 8 men and 2 women. Using the From Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI, they performed brain scans participants before the 42km marathon. The second scan they ran from 24 to 48 hours after completing the marathon. Among the two participants also passed the MRI two the weeks later, and six two months after the run. In all marathon runners, there was a decrease in middles after the run in some parts of the brain. Scientists also noticed that the myelin began rebuilding soon after the marathon and returned to normal levels within a period of time two months. Previous studies have shown that long-distance runners they initially burn carbohydrates while running, and when this source is left exhausted, their bodies switch to fat. One of these sources the fat seems to be myelin. Scientists also see that myelin reduction it occurred in parts of the brain that are responsible for motor coordination and sensory integration as well as for processing emotions. These discoveries open the way to consider that myelin lipids contribute to the metabolism of brain energy, at least under certain conditions, said Carlos Matute a marathon runner and neuroscientist from the University of the Basque Country in Lyon, Spain, who led with research. He also added that the temporary loss of myano after the run should not worry the marathoners. Together with the team, he conducts research on whether reduction there has a temporary effect on cognitive function and has not yet produced it no results, suggesting that this effect is very small or non-existent. There are no major long-term changes in functioning the brain, he said. Matute suspects that use in potted replenishment is even beneficial because the practice mechanism of metabolic brain. Myelin damage occurs in people with certain disorders neurological, including multiple sclerosis, which is why Matute hopes that study of myelin use as an energy source may lead to some observations that may help in the treatment of such disorders. We could get tips on potential treatments if we understand what it happens at runners, Matut explained. Scientists have admitted that this is preliminary findings and studies have restrictions mainly due to the small number of trials. They suggested that more research is needed to eventually link myelin loss to running long distance and determine the mechanism underlying this phenomenon. Greenland was relatively recently free of ice. This is confirmed by a secret Cold War project. In 1966, the U.S. Army engineers pierced it as almost 1.5 kilometers of ice in the northwestern part of Greenland. They have mined the ice core, which had been in the freezer for over 50 years, until 2017 a year. After recent tests of samples from the core, they found that they contain fragments of fossilized plants. This material suggests that in the last Greenland's ice sheet has subsided for a long time for a million years to close enough to vegetation, perhaps even a forest, took root and developed well, which contradicts the findings of scientists so far. In 2019, 
Andrew Christ of Vermont University, University of Vermont, UVM, looked under the microscope excavated in the times of the Cold War material and instead of sand and rock fragments he saw twigs, leaves and MCHY. This suggests that ice in the recent past geological disappeared from the surface of Greenland and that at the site of the ice sheet the size of Alaska was a vegetation-covered landscape, perhaps a forest its boreal. Ice core mined as part of top secret a project aimed at placing medium-range missiles under ice Greenland, close enough to hit targets in the Soviet Union. The project this was called Iceworm and was carried out as part of another project called Camp the Century. He was involved in the excavation of a network of tunnels in which they were to be stored it's a nuclear missile. Of course, Denmark, which is a founding member of NATO and which administers Greenland, knew nothing, and official destiny the databases were, among other things, conducting scientific research, which is why they were extracted this ice core. Instability of Greenland's ice sheet caused the whole project was cancelled, but the ice core remained. In the beginning it was stored in freezers at the University of Buffalo, but in the years the 90s of the last century went to Copenhagen, where he lay in another decade. It was rediscovered only in 2017, when scientists from University of Copenhagen sorts stored samples for transfer there in the new freezer. When they realized what they had in their hands, they mobilized the team to study ancient samples. It turned out that the core contains fossilized leaves and twigs mixed with ancient sediments. Since the rediscovery, an international team of scientists, directed by Paul Bierman from UVM, which also included Jörg Schaefer from Columbia University and Dorth Dahl Jensen from the University of Copenhagen and Andrew Christ from UVM, the aforementioned, studied the one-of-a-kind specimens of fossilized plants and sediments from Greenland. Results of their work, which they appeared in the magazine Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences shows that most or even the whole Greenland, in the last million years, and perhaps even the last few hundred thousands of years, she must have been free of ice. Ice core bottom is frozen sediment with a length of about 10 cm and a width of 10 cm. They were put into glass jars after biscuits and labeled Camp Century Sub Ice and then they have been forgotten. Only in 2017, during the inventory of materials designed for the new freezer, the curator of the facility Jürgen Peter Stefansson recognized the long-lost samples, Christ said. Ice ice usually grinding and destroying everything in their path, but in these samples we have discovered perfectly preserved delicate plant structures. They are fossils, but they look like they died yesterday. This is a time capsule of what used to live on Greenland, he added. The finding suggests that Greenland ice completely melted during the last warm periods in the history of the Earth, periods such as the one we are currently undergoing climate change caused by man. Understanding the preservation of Greenland's ice sheet in the past is crucial to predict how it will respond to climate change in the future and how quickly it will melt. This is very important. Researchers previously estimated that the loss of Greenland's ice sheet would cause raising sea levels by about 6 meters. This means that every the coastal city in the world is under threat. New study provides the strongest evidence to date that Greenland is more fragile and sensitive to climate change than previously thought, and the risk of irreversible melting of its ice sheet, is serious. For most of the Pleistocene, the glacifixion period last 2.6 million years, Greenland's ice sheet was off good even during warmer periods called interglacial. At least at least that's what scientists have thought so far. However, this period is poorly understood, and previous beliefs are contradicted by the Cold War ice core discovered the fragments of the growing. They suggest that at some point in the last million years, probably in the last few hundred thousand years, most Greenland was free of ice. New research clearly shows that Greenland ice completely he has resigned at least once in the last million years. Then its surface it was covered with vegetation, including moss, and perhaps even forests. 
These findings they coincide with data collected from two other ice cores from Greenland, exploits from the island's center in the 1990s. Combination of this data gives the researchers an unprecedented picture of Greenland's changing ice sheet. A team of scientists used a series of advanced techniques analyticals that were not available to scientists 50 years ago. They examined the settlements and fossilized plants. They also measured the proportions of rare isotopes of aluminium and beryllium that accumulates in minerals only when the ground is exposed and exposed to cosmic radiation. Thanks to this scholars they learned how long the minerals were exposed on the surface and how long they were under the ice. On the basis of the relations of these isotopes, the authors of the research established, that the soil in which the ancient, Greenland plants grew recently saw sunlight from a few hundred thousand to about a million years ago. This means that the region has melted completely and remained in such a state long enough for the cosmic rays formed these isotopes. As the researchers admitted, the settlements from this course resemble those of today's tundra ecosystems in Greenland. Scientists also used thermal luminescent dating, thanks to which they estimated the time elapsed from exposure of sepid to action the lights. Radiocarbon dating of pieces of wood found in ice and analysis of the method of laying layers of ice and debris allowed the team to place melting in the time interval with an accuracy of the last million years. Former ecosystems have not been erased despite thousands of years under a thick ice sheet. The history of those living moonscapes remained captured under relatively young ice, which formed it is on the surface of the Earth, freezes in place and keeps it still. If the findings of the scientists are correct, it does not bode well stability of Greenland's current ice sheet in response to changes climate caused by man. Our research shows that Greenland is much more sensitive to climate warming than it has been before, we were thinking. We already know that the planet's out of control warming the cost by humanity far exceeds the natural pace. It's important, because we are entering a warmer future. Our climate system has its a delicate balance. If it changes enough, it can melt large parts ice sheets and raising sea level, and this would cause large flooding some...